Then we're going to get into the first competition. We're doing the Monster Jam. We've got two symmetrical courses, but opposite. Both riders, we're going to go in head to head at the same time. You go down the course, do your side, we cross, and then you do the opposite side. So everybody has the same amount of course that they're running, and it's gonna have a photo finish with a jump in the middle. It's gonna be an awesome, awesome course. Now, not only are these awesome courses, but we're throwing a twist in, and we are not bound to any one of these machines. So each rider is going to pick from a helmet. We've got keys on a lanyard, nobody knows what they're picking, and that's the machine that you're gonna ride. Each round, one of us will pick one lanyard, so we'll know that that one is eliminated and the remaining three riders will all pull at the same time. So I'm gonna start it off. Oh man. No meatballs, no meatballs, no meatballs. The blast. Oh, oh dude! Hey, no cool I got the blueberry. You guys all got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> this is bullshit, dude. Uh, okay, guys, let's hop into the first round. We selected the matchups randomly. First up is Jesse on the Trailblazer versus me on the 300EX. It'll be the best of three heats. The losing machine will go down to the loser's bracket, and the winning machine will move on to the final round to see who's the fastest. We've got our rider stats in the middle. Jesse is six foot one, 270 pounds. I am five foot nine, 230. And to jog your memory on the weight of the machines, the Trailblazer is 487 pounds. The 300EX is quite a bit lighter at 397. Transmissions is auto versus manual, and the engine type is two stroke versus four stroke. Let's get it. Let me mount my stallion. Ah, two stroke versus four stroke. Hey, can you please not beat me on a machine you don't like? No. Oh. I cannot wait to do Monster Jam. It's got the jump, it's got tight turns, and it's small enough that you can see your opponent and it's heads up, so you're going at the same time. Any kind of heads up race I think is super fun, even if it's just a 50 yard dash. Monster Jam is actually sick. Like, I... Seriously, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Blazer versus the meatball. Mike versus Jesse. Two, one, go! Oh! 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 Popped it up. He came in from an early jump, but he popped a wheelie. But Jesse nails the first corner, so does Mike. They hit the bills. Go Mike for the bills. Jesse goes the long route. Gets up on two wheels. Twice. Whoa. Mike definitely beat him out of the corner. Then we got two. Whoa! Left. Meatball's up! Meatball's up! Whoa. Jesse has plenty of time to catch up. Come on! Oh, oh he's doing it! Blazer just does not want to sit down. Full commitment on the blazer. Matt did. Meatballs up. Oh boy. Oh. Look at that, he cruised to the finish. Woo! Mike playing it cocky. Very nice. <laughs> and he was worried about the meatball. He was worried about the meatball. He had time to slow down and take his time. I'm gonna be like a bandwagon flip-flop guy on the meatball. Every time it wins, I'm gonna go back to Team Honda. Every time I have to ride it, I'm probably gonna say it's not, not gonna work. Ladies and gentlemen, your Heat 1 winner, Michael Sable. Meatball! <laughs> Dude, I almost wheel it out too and I went at half speed. <sighs> How many times do you two wheel? All the time. Okay. Basically every turn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure every turn. How about that meatball? These uh, these tires look like meatballs. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> and I think if you really wanted to launch this, you probably have to really rev it out so it breaks it loose. But it almost wheeled it out there in the front. That yeah, needs you, you about <laughs> ripped the grab bar off again. But, but I still, still hate it. it. Um, <laughs> Jesse's just slow. <laughs> he said he still hates it. I got him this time. I'm gonna get him. Oh, that's right. We're doing heats. Yeah. Whoa. Are you excited to be riding on mid-size quads or used to riding, you know, full-size machines? I'm actually really excited to ride the mid-size quads. Only one of them have I ever ridden before. Uh, like the Lakota, I've never even heard of it. Jesse and I started riding when we were like four years old and we've slowly worked our way up from like an LT80 to Honda 250s and from Honda 250s up to a 400, then 450s and so on. I know these mid-size quads can really throw down and like anybody of any age, any size can have a lot of fun on one. I think it was a really good idea because everybody can relate to at least one of these quads for the most part in our whole community. Whereas if you're on something that's more rare, not everybody's had a chance to even 
ride something like that. I skipped midsize quad. I went from a 90cc to an LT250R, and I feel like that's why I'm not the greatest rider. I think the midsize quads are where you can really learn all of your riding skills. I'm just really excited because this is the whole chapter that I, I missed in my youth. It's gonna be neat to ride around on more or less toys and they're all different. Yeah, I don't think any of these guys fit on very good. We should probably just do like sportsmen's. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this thing idles so loud. If I win this heat, then I take it. If Jesse wins it, we'll go to a heat three. I think this time I'm not going to launch it. I'm just gonna feather it a little bit. Mike had a really good run on the last heat. Jesse kept standing it up quite a bit, so well, hopefully he can keep it down and keep the power rolling. Connor, are we good? I really think that trail bike has got some speed. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Better start by Mike. Better start for the Blazer. He two-wheeled it again. Two-wheeling. Dude, it's a two-wheeling. It's getting... Yeah, he's got to get his hips down and... There it is. There it goes. Nailed it. Oh, man. Nailed it. He's hugging the belt. We're in it. We're in it. caught him up better. with the meatball. All right. All right. Oh! oh and he's got it. Robin's race! <laughs> Robin's race. Nailed his corner. He nailed it. We're even it's out. It's coming down to the last bail. Jesse's doing a oh, long oh, lefty over redemption. here. Redemption! Redemption! Oh! Here we go! It's getting tight. <laughs> it's getting tight. Oh, that's oh! That was some good <laughs> racing right there. <laughs> this thing is dicey. That was some good <laughs> racing. <laughs> Boys. Who won? That's some remember. good racing. I won, but dude, this thing is so dicey. That time I tried to go balls out and I just kept up every single time. You miss shifts and the other thing is my feet slip off the pegs, specifically this one when you're riding hard, but I still won, so. I just wanted more power. I could Jesse, see it, I'm just dude, Jesse was pegged. nailing corners that time. Ah, Damn it. Man, I really thought the Cool Ranch was gonna have it. You guys touch tires. Oh shit. That was crazy, dude. That was a little kiss there, I just, yeah. I, I think I just don't trust it enough to give it full commitment on the throttle. Very good racing, that was cool. <laughs> we could call it a quits right now and it was a great day, but we're not going to. We're gonna do a bunch more racing. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're up, buddy. Oh, man, I got to work right. now. Sorry. Tag team. Unfortunately, this puts me in the final bracket, so I'll have to do this again. <laughs> On the meatball. All right. Kind of nervous honestly because like i have a tendency to get too excited to do well like i override and over try and i choke and if i can just settle myself down i think i'll do great but most of the time i'm just gonna botch it but jacob's very comfortable I need bad boys up. I'm very excited for this race. Dude, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pulling team two stroke. I'm going family wins. Hey Pete, just so you know, Jesse bet against you, but I bet on you. I didn't bet against you. I can't. I, I can't. bet team two, two stroke. I think, I think we have maybe the better quad for it, but the comfortability level and the comfortability level is gonna be the difference. Ready, three, two, one. Hide in oh the man. Oh, he launched out of the turn. Oh man, it's oh, tight. It's gonna be oh, tight. No, he he's stalled. Oh, no. oh man, that's a factor we didn't even think about. He's got kickstart. Yeah. Oh no. He's gotta push it. Come on. Go, go, go. You can catch up. Let's go. Oh man, he's riding hard. Oh, come on, Jake. Get him in the bell. Dude, it's, ah, it's... Ah, the luck coder's taking it. Ah, oh, man, round two. It. Ah. <laughs> Damn. Oh, you're yeah, the racer flyby. <laughs> Show up! I think if he didn't stall, well, Pete sandbagged at the end. Yeah, it was close, though. Oh, they man. Tight. They made some mistakes there, for sure. Yeah, but I don't know if you saw, but Jacob stalled in the oh. first corner. That gave me some breathing room. You stalled twice? Yeah. 
Oh man, see, we were, me and Jesse said that's the one thing we weren't even considering when picking these machines out. Yeah. This is the only kickstart machine. Yeah, yeah. I and choked that, hard. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. I tried to do a parade wave. I don't have a lot of experience you know, with that. that I weird. think Pete forgot <laughs> that this is about time. I think you're supposed to cup it. I don't know so he definitely it. needs to finish strong, right? Oh no no no! So he's racing the line too. first, man. Racing is racing. Whoever Heck. whoever crosses those, <sighs> he's racing you too. You guys ready for round two? Yes, sir. Heat two, same machine. Jacob, you need to wind that mother out. I did not forecast the lane change. I saw it coming as we hit the jump, and I remembered Tyrese boxing me out last year. I was like, I'll run him over this year. I'm not losing because of and that And I was again. like, that is way too nice for me to run into. I'm not going to hit the blaster right now. Pete, there's no nice when you're burning rice, all right? Yeah. <laughs> we were good? close until yeah. that happened. I think that was a good one. Yeah, and then I just panicked. I should have let off and just let you go. I lost way more doing what I did. Kind of like when your teammate hits a tree and then you run into the back of him and then somebody else just goes around. <laughs> yeah, kind of like when somebody, somebody who before. isn't here pushes you into the tree. Oh. Ah. Jesse's too close to Mike, so they all stack up and I, I was like, okay, I guess I'll go around him. And that's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Robin's racing. You guys ready for heat three right now? Or you want to take a breather? No, I think we gotta get after it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, heat's got that endurance, man. Oh my god! All right, we've got the original crispy chicken sandwich and the blueberry milkshake. Third heat. The close one. They did not care which place they got. They're confident. All right, here we go. Seven minutes ready. Strong man ready. Nine ready. Three, two, one, go. doesn't get much better than that. Good. Jake, I gotta hand it yeah. to you, dude. That was a, you, I saw you mess up in the one corner and you caught up really good. I wasn't, I didn't have my eye on Pete. I don't know if he had a perfect run or if he messed up too. It was an but okay that, run, it wasn't bad. It wasn't that was bad, a but. hell of a finish and I'm just uh, not feeling happy about it because now I have to go against Pete. So what I got you by like half a quad length? Literally. Oh, yeah. yeah. I saw you were it wheeling. Was I was wheeling yeah. and I was like, I'm not going to bring it down to shift. I'm just going to stay saw, in it. I saw yeah. you went over and it just threw the front down. Yeah, I was like, if it throws me over, it throws me over as long as the quad's on all four. <laughs> wow. All right. Oh my gosh. That was, that was good. I'll win this photo. Where did this quad roulette swapping from one to another, pulling random keys, where did all that come from? You know, riding sport quads is one thing. Getting together with your buddies and having a great time is a part of it too. Making games out of things I think is so much fun. So roulette just adds to the fun of it. When you mix it up, I think it's more, it makes it more fun. And then it can be more about 
you know, an actual review of the machines because we're all taking turns on them. In, in my opinion, I think it's a lot more interesting. I definitely like the idea of us rotating the machines. It just kind of makes it more about the quads versus the rider. I don't like the idea of one person just getting shafted with the meatball. I love roulette. Normally I like take a gun and spin it, but this will do. <laughs> Hey, uh, hopefully, hopefully he, for, he remembers to put it in, in forward. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Just, the goal with the blazer is to keep all four wheels on the ground. No two wheeling. You can do this. And to keep the blaster running. And the goal with the chicken sandwich is to not stall it. <laughs> oh, Jed! All right, riders are running. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! That was a sick launch. That was a good corner on Jesse's part. Oh my gosh. Oh, the, the blaster, blaster looks so much so faster. Dude, the blazer looks so slow. Going oh, he crushed it. He crushed it. Oh, we got a hay bale. Oh, we got a helmet. Oh, hay bale fraction. Hay bale fraction. Tell him to play dirty. Tell him to play dirty. Come on, blazer. You got this. Oh, man. All right, we're playing for a stall. Okay. Look at that. He's going wheelies. Good job, oh, Jesse, you got this. And Jake is already after the bail. Oh, Jesse's no. mid-bail. Just a bit of a blowout. Well, Blaster did it. <laughs> Sick. I think he rode the blazer pretty well. It, he was smooth. I mean, yeah. It's, the thing is, if you did like three laps, he'd be probably coming, coming up on lapping him. What do you think, Jesse? How do you feel about the Polaris? How do you feel about this cool ranch? It's fun. It's comfortable. But it needs more ass. It's pretty cool, but we need some more ranch. <laughs> hey, it's got a pull start. We are with the pull starts again. <laughs> Should I start it up that way this time? Yes. Maybe it'll make me no, go No, because it won't, it won't recoil. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do not do that. Was that your best run on it so far? Because I didn't see oh, you too probably, well except for I demolished the bale over oh, there. Oh, that's right. You almost took your brother out. That was yeah, cool. Yeah, well, I mean around and find out i guess <laughs> this is like the biggest heaviest machine too justin was probably shitting a brick over there <laughs> well like once it was in my line i was just i had nothing else i could do Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well maybe the different line choice will make a big difference here or not probably not thumbs up from everybody Looking good. Ready. ready here we go three <laughs> Get him on the second lap! <laughs> Block him out! I don't even know what to say. I'm at a loss. I think we should give him a second go. I'm at a loss. I think it was, should, it was I think funny. We should give him a second go. <laughs> uh, I actually thought it was hilarious. You gotta laugh at yourself, man. I'm an idiot. That was really funny because you said that. At least it wasn't in reverse like we were joking. <laughs> Damn it! You know, you know, that's not ideal. <laughs> what really sucks is you gotta let it rev Idle back down. down before you can put it in gear. Woo! Bottom of the bracket. Woo! I, we were, you guys wanna I think do we an all or nothing? Third heat since Jesse had a, yeah, a, a bomb start. You had one gear, Jesse. You had one gear. This is a brother to brother, right? It now. is. Um, you bring up this a good point. For bragging rights. Runners ready! Three, two, one, go! Wow. That was a good launch. Come on, Jesse. Launch. I'm all over Jesse right now. Get this. Dude, I think he's he's coming after it now. They're tied right look, now. Look, look, at it. look at that body language. They are, they're tied. Yeah! This is the closest they've been so far. This is good. This is Come good. On. Come on. If he stays right. in it. Good, 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 good. He took a wider line. He's got some ground to make up still. He can still take it. Dude, shit, he just crushed that corner. If he stalls. Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Oh, he two-wheeled it. It's oh, over. Yeah. It's over. He had a chance. It's over. <laughs> he had a chance. Woo! 
until the first bales when you had to do the full circle, you guys were right next to each other. Yeah. When you came into the second lap, you guys were right by each other. Dude, I had hope for you, Jesse, because you almost went straight into those bales. I almost botched that one. You were like a millimeter away. You were <laughs> you were probably scrubbing some sidewall. Second lap, you crushed your corner. Yeah. You had an epic yeah, like lock up power slide sure. and you came out and all of a sudden you had like four lengths on them. Yeah, yeah. I was pretty dingy in the corner. And then you two wheeled. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Dingy. Well, you guys got some exercise in. That was solid. Yeah, it was yeah. good. Right on. Let's now get down to brass tacks and you guys uh, yeah. suit up. I'm, I'm ready to lose. Stop I know he's scared. just, he keeps talking about how much he wants to ride the meatball, so we'll get ready to go here. Meatballs are made for eating, all right? <laughs> Not riding. This is probably the tastiest quad. The what? It's the tastiest quad. <laughs> it's Everybody tastiest. likes a chicken sandwich. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. Why are, why are all these quads named after food? Is no one talking about this? <laughs> To Ryer to Ryer. I think he's two hooligans are going to be having a good race. Spaghetti. Going to race his very no own face to the top quad king. Michael Sabo by Tarp Quad Train. Pre Hager. Ryer to Ryer. Out. Pete, kick Mike his ass. sounds nice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Dude, anything can happen. Anything can I, I could end up with a hip flexor cramp. Are you one of those coaches that tells every player they're their favorite? So here's the thing, Mike. If Pete wins, oh, even though I got third, I'm second right here. Oh, wow. He's taking digs, man. I thought you were always third place. I am always third place. Are you familiar with the Honda Civic? I've unfortunately wrenched on too many. I'm almost positive that I could drive my Honda Civic faster than that meatball. Cut. Jesse, you're Why? over here. Why? Because it's what they tell us to do. You got the big boss. Who the cameras? The big bosses. They run the race. They tell us to stand here in front of camera. Does anybody actually want to watch these guys race? Right. Hey, where's the megaphone? We need to be much louder. I gotta get an upset here. Wang, wang, wang. Do it for Dale. Cameraman ready. Let's Drone go. man ready. Let's go. Riders ready. Close into the turn, keep it. Good corners, fast go. corner by both of them. Come on. Do it for Tyrese, Mike! Nice, steady left hand turn. Go. Pete. Go. Pete's got the edge on him coming into the straight. Mike that 300 EX is fast. You can see Mike close at the straightaways. Look nice at this jump. speed. The 300, nice. the 300 EX is fast there in these straights. Go. But Pete's riding flawless. Oh, got a little Pete's reckless. Bail. I think the 300 can get it. Get after it. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, tied into the turn. Look at the code out. Right there. Great finish. Great finish. The 300 EX has some pulling speed. Yes. He Absolutely. closes fast in straightaways. Do you see the front left on that thing? Though? Yeah, it's a little sketchy. It might fall off. It might fall off. Good thing we don't have many like jumps after this. So, great runs by both of you. This thing has some serious closing speed from corner to corner. Absolutely. It's insane to watch it jump across the field. I think um, a better rider would win on this. If I can slide this, I'll win. I think your I issue really... is the 22 inch tires. If that that has 22s, 22s also though. I don't know, it's just made for it. I, I feel very tippy on this. If I could get more confident in the corner with this thing, I think it'd be close. All right, let's okay. do this. Tunnel vision. Tunnel vision. He says, another one. Let's go, boys. We'll get right back to the final round, but first, I want to take a break to thank you for making it this far into the video. I'd also like to thank the companies that helped to make Top Quad possible. Thank you to PeteHager.com for parts, Rocket Rhyme Racing for suspension, Zoom Zoom for parts, DRW Performance for skid plates and case savers, Rocky Mountain ATV for parts, and we'd like to give a special thank you to Kenda for supplying tires for every one of these machines. Kenda tires are sweet. My least favorite thing about tires is when they bite in a power slide when you don't want them to, and that hasn't happened once. Definitely solid tires, and they look cool. I've always liked the tread patterns on them. Plus, they put colored logos on the side of their tires, which is a big deal. Most companies don't do that. I'd also like to give a special thank you to Todd at 725 Designs. You'll notice that all of these machines have custom graphics on them. I made the designs, sent them to Todd, and he printed them out, making for an easy professional installation. The quality is top notch, and if you can't design your own graphics, that's no problem. Todd can do it for you. Check them out on Instagram at 725 Designs. Make sure to let them know that I sent you. All of the links to sponsor websites will be listed in the description below. If you're enjoying the video so far, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing all help out a ton. We love making these videos, but it's a ton of work, and together the 
creators drive thousands of miles and work hundreds of hours to make this content for the off-road community. If you're looking for a way to support and help us, please consider subscribing to my friend's YouTube channels, Heat Hager, 700R Raptor Life, Brewer Off-Road, and of course, my YouTube channel. Tyrese from 700R Raptor Life wasn't able to make this year's show, but he did help out by supplying the meatball. You can also show your support by picking up some official Top Quad merch with your favorite machine on it. Links will be in the description below. Let's get back to the machines. Camera guys, ready? Riders, ready? So that time it was leave on one. I swear I didn't mean to jump it. I really thought he said go. <laughs> you looked at me like. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't wait for Jesse, so I was like, I'm fucking going. <laughs> <laughs> if I could corner this thing, man, I hand it to you though, Pete. Thank you. It was fun. This thing is a very nice, well rounded little unit. A balanced man on a balanced <laughs> That's machine. What she said. <laughs> I uh, am oddly wanting to ride on that. Dude, you should just rip it around here. I'm going to save it for maybe the next event okay. if I get it. I think that'd be funny. You definitely get better as you ride it, like the confidence. I don't hate this now, but I bet you if I rode that, I'd be like, dude, this is so much the better. The only thing Any I don't like about this is I think these these were an inch lower. Yeah. I do not like moving because you're it's yeah, higher you than the, the seat. Yeah, you bend them. So you sit on it, and I just yeah. don't like that. It's the only thing I don't like about it. Damn it! So, what's next? All right, let's check out the scoreboards. We did a knockout style of scoring for the competitions. So it is possible that if we went by time, the order would be different. On top, we have the machine placings. We've got the blueberry milkshake came in first, meatball in second, the crispy chicken sandwich in third, and the cool ranch in fourth. Now we're focused on the machine placings, but we gotta have the rider position as well. Pete's in first, I'm in second, Jacob third, and Jesse's in fourth. Next up, we'll be running time trials on Ragnarok, a small technical course where we'll really get to see how these machines handle in the tight stuff. And the fact that these are kids' quads is probably going to become more apparent. Let's get after it. I don't know about you guys, but my opinion of these machines has changed, at least the meatball. It's definitely got some balls. I think it's got a lot of potential once you get comfortable on it. Pete just took it for a ride afterwards, and dude, didn't you, you said that thing's got a hell of power. Yeah, the front shocks are totally clapped, but other than that, it's really good. <laughs> yeah, like the danger factor is high, but so is the power. And I think on this course, it's gonna be a little interesting because there's a lot of like bumps and ruts and stuff. So I would still not be thrilled to pull that machine. I don't know, I think it's, I think it's got it. I have a lot of faith in it. I know that I called the Cool Ranch the Cinderella story, but she can stay in the tower. <laughs> she, let she let me down. I'm not having it again. Oh, shit. I wouldn't be upset if I pulled the blaster again because, like, it is a pretty fast quad and it's handling really nice, but I wouldn't be happy about it either because it is a lot of work to get that thing moving around and doing what I want it to. Yeah. And I'm a pretty big guy, and, like, I literally, my knee and my butt cheek get wedged between the front and rear fender when I tried to slide down onto the heel guard. Yeah. And I'm like trying to figure something out. Yeah, and but and not only that, it's the one where you're shifting the most and you gotta keep it in the power band. Yeah. So if you're you're haul over the quad and stuff, it's like really hard to, to get the shifter and stuff. Yeah. It's it, it doesn't work good for jitters, that's for sure. Cause then you know, like you're trying to do all this technical stuff and you're just trying to like ride really hard and you, you mess up a lot. Yeah. yeah or at least sure. whoever has the three hundred EX, get ready for the roots, man, because this is bad. It was gnarly. It was gnarly. Or lack thereof. <laughs> All right, well, let's get into it. We're going to pick the same way we did last time, but this time Pete is going to be the first person to pick. And uh, we're going to see what machines we have running here. I'm, I'm getting nervous. Can we get it? Ooh. What's up with that one that's... You want the long one, yeah. If you want the long one, Pete. Trust me. Don't uh, FYI. I'll take the meatball if it's the meatball. You got the Kawasaki oh, again! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Holy shit. I was hoping for something different. Okay, I'll take it. I'm not complaining. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> we all think for at the same time. I guess. Oh, all you right. mother. Let's go. Yeah! Oh, he bleeds red, so it'll work just fine. All right. Yes! I got my work cut out, man. Yes. Cool ranch. Rock, paper, scissors. In the tree. Yeah, baby. Oh, my God. No one warning there. 
damn it again. <laughs> I was kind of even like, oh, I'll take that 300 for Ragnarok. Live on the edge. That thing's, when you get down here, you're just like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're gonna have a really fun ride. It's super fun, but it is like crazy. Well, it's just see, nuts. you said it likes to two wheel. I like to two wheel. That means four, we'll be safe. He's got a point. I think it's like two Man. minus two, so that's zero, so that's not good. <laughs> and Jesse, I think, you're, I think you're first up, bro. Let's do it. All right, now the goal of this challenge is to put down the best time that you can on your machine and not so much to go up against the other riders. With that in mind, we all hopped on the machines and did several practice laps to warm up and get a good feel for how they handle. However, for poor old Jesse, he didn't make it far. On his second lap, he actually rolled the 300 EX. But as luck would have it, his helmet camera was off and he was just out of frame of the drone. If you look really, really close, you might be able to see him starting to roll. Explain how you hit the middle of the machine. Is that, um, did a tree hit it? No, so did you, coming into the, the woods, you know, where it's like the off the fall away. right hand turn. Yeah. So I was going and it was sliding and then it caught and picked up on two wheels and there was a tree like right here. So I jumped off and like wrapped my arm around this tree so I wouldn't fall. Oh jeez. And it landed on all fours and then went down the hill. <laughs> Matt might have some of that on video. Yeah. He was sitting right there. Yeah, he definitely got it. This thing, every root, every bump. It's bad. You're, you're bottoming out everything. So I just gotta be careful. Redemption on the meatball. After I just absolutely ate shit with the camera off. Nothing really fires you up like wrecking right before you're supposed to go. I'm ready now. Fire ready. Three, two, one, go! Got a wheelie off the start. Overall, good start. The 300 EX is really fast. So like, he pulled a lot of speed getting up to the pine trees. Every bit is faster than 400 EX. It's close, especially his 9090 did last year with the clutch slipping and everything. Yeah. He blazed through that pine tree section right there. That downhill well, corner is the worst. Time. I'll do the launches. The downhill corner right here? Where Matt's standing? Oh, yeah. To drop yeah, in. If you want to try to go fast, like you can like want to roll downhill. And that's where he line. messed okay, up. Then I'm and also, further back. in that dip, if you go so I can get, fast, get him on the power slide. He's probably also thinking about keeping the 300X alive because it's so hard to get started. To find neutral. To find neutral, you gotta get it started. Oh, yeah. Sounds like he maybe had to stop ah! and do a bathroom. Did we just hear a tree? Did a tree just get pushed over? <laughs> now we've got some dialogue happening here. I think I'm the only one that's thinking about the camera at the moment. I can see him. You can just over. Ooh, the that didn't sound good. Man, I hope his helmet cam is on. He ought to just finish easy. <laughs> And the machine was shut off. I can't get it out of reverse. <laughs> he said he couldn't get it out of reverse. What the f For the next Top Quad series, we're gonna have a minimum price requirement for certain models. Like, <laughs> we're gonna look at the 300X market and say, all right, good ones are 1,800 and up, not 1,000. Yeah. So, yeah. true. Cause there's gonna be some diehards that are gonna be a little crabby about that machine being a bit whooped compared to the other three yeah it's not really doing the 300x justice because it's got a ton of power that's but the true. handling is so crap that's true i mean i did the two laps but it was it was exciting mm -hmm. but scary yeah yeah, yeah for was... sure and like not being able to take on certain sections because of the suspension swamped out that's not honda's fault no it's not that's an age thing exactly and it's not really good impressions yep 
So good representation. But the Honda people should be happy to know that it has a ton of power. Yeah, it does have a ton of power, which is odd because everybody always says that Honda underpowers their machines to make them reliable. Very good point. And here we are. We know the 450 has a lot of power. Here comes Looks like it's back in gear. <laughs> I hope it's mechanically still working okay. I don't, that didn't sound good. We are so excited to hear about what happened. Well. <sighs> Get your game on. One, this thing beats you up really bad. I have a Charlie horse. I was doing really good. Then coming up that hill, the roots just bouncing me all around, kind of overshot, threw it in reverse and then it got stuck in reverse because you have to push this back down before you shift up. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> How many dip nozzles does it take to fix a quad? I don't see any issues with the suspension on this 300 meatball. Dang, well you got another run, but oh yeah, this is, he deserves an extra grace period of a break because this sure. is brutal. This is like doing sure. four laps but on another one. He said, uh-uh. <laughs> Now Jesse did get to put down another lap and he managed to get through without having any major mishaps. Now just to reiterate, we understand that this quad is not the best representation of the 300EX, but for these challenges, we're comparing our specific machines. So just keep that in mind. We also all had a crack at each one of these machines and we all agreed it is very difficult to handle this machine. It's not just the rider. Fatigue's unreal. There's a lot of stuff you have to pay attention to with this. You're not just paying attention to the trails and the roots so you don't bottom out. You gotta pay attention so it doesn't stall out because mm -hmm. this thing doesn't like to start unless you're in neutral. You gotta be on your A game and yeah. you're using like all of your concentration oh, yeah. as well Absolutely. as your body language. It's Yeah, cause like, I, you know, I made the comment on the last event, the blaster is a lot of work and a lot of stuff you're thinking about to do. But one thing I'm not thinking about is, is this gonna stay together? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> does everything function properly? As long as I can operate it properly, I know it's going to function properly. This is a little bit of both. Yeah, we probably should have checked the lug nuts first. One thing that, that really got me is if you're braking and you use the front brakes like hard, you have to get your weight back because it suspension is so soft, the back tire will come off the ground. Oh, you get the front brakes. man. Well, Jesse was pretty beat up after riding the meatball. Next up was the blaster with me riding it. I gotta remember. Smooth as fast. The Pete Hager style. The Blaster is a great machine. It's super nimble. It makes lots of power. However, all of us noticed that this was the most cramped machine. It's really hard for a bigger person to maneuver on this thing. Power is very peaky and it's very fast when you're revving the engine out, but on tight technical stuff like this course, it did suffer quite a bit. I was constantly shifting to keep it in the power band. Alright, come on, come on, come on. But one thing that every rider did agree on is that this was the most fun machine to ride. Pete was up next on the Lakota. This is a machine that we've already had on this course and just like before, it performed absolutely great. Plus Pete is an exceptional rider. The only complaint that we all had was just like before, the rear fenders are just a little bit too high and it makes positioning your body pretty difficult. Otherwise, it went through pretty flawlessly. Now there was one machine that we were all the most curious to see how it would do on Ragnarok, the Trailblazer. All right, so I was gonna practice the launch because they kind of told me how I should do it, but I don't think it, this is gonna have much of a launch power anyways that it's gonna really matter that much. I get real like amped up when I ride and I make a lot of mistakes. Like when I'm competing, I make a lot of mistakes because I get excited. This thing shakes a lot. Yeah. Vibrate my balls. I thought you lost the seat. Yeah, 20 bucks says I come back without it. Yeah, I 
think he just got to kind of stay in it. I'm curious to hear like his RPMs when he comes down the downhill into the uphill. I think he's going to have to like just floor it. Really nice commercial leap floor. It is extremely hard to tell if that's being, if he's doing yes, well. Dear Lord, baby Jesus, let it be a slower time than mine. Huh? I said, dear Lord, baby Jesus, let it be a slower time than mine. I've never wished that upon anybody. I've never ridden the Trailblazer in this type of uh, environment yet, so I don't really know what it can do. I'm hopeful for it, but it can. I don't think it's exactly its forte, though. It's its forte isn't aggressive riding. It's just like a wreck machine. It's right. for riding. Yeah. It's not supposed to be some... Now, as far as comfort goes going around this, I'm sure 100%. It's, it's cake. Here we go. Here it comes. Here we go. Coming in hot. Nice. <laughs> Photo finish. That was. Whoa. Woo. <laughs> Seat's gone. What the hell did you miss the seat? <laughs> So you that'll guys? suck on your butt if you sit on it. <laughs> <laughs> Getting ready to go downhill. Just went, boom. What is going, we might have to get some zip ties or something. <laughs> oh, shoot. All right. You guys it's thought so deleting the air box lid was a mod. Ejecto Cito, cuz. Wow. Oh, this shoot. Isn't, Dude, this machine's getting thrashed. Yeah. Was it kind of boring? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, because you're just... Until my seat fell off, and then, then it's like, like, okay, hey, this is getting crazy. This is weird. I can really get on this thing. Cool Ranch is like, you said boring, did you? Well, it's just because he, he <laughs> came from the blaster that is so rider-involved last event, so now you're on this. Very true, yeah. yeah and it's just yeah. like, you had to have been kind of like, all right, yeah, I'm so doing like, it. I even said it. Like, I was climbing the hill. I was like, well, the hill climb is kind of boring. <laughs> that's true. You went from, like, the most rider-involved to the least rider. Yeah, from one extreme to another. Yeah, that's interesting. You owe me $20. I told you 20 bucks, I bet I don't come back with it. Yeah, 20 bucks says I come back without it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you said I'm How did it come off? Stopping for I think it's like there's there's too much flex in the place. Yeah, when we're when we're leaning, I think we're pulling on well, every, like, like when everything. When you sit in this, you're like Yeah, it just bend in the seat. This is the hardest yeah. this machine's been ridden its whole life I in the last agree. today. Yeah. All right, so Jesse's first or his uh, first one was kind of a DQ. Mm -hmm. Uh, so your best time was your second run at 2.14.07. Tyrese would be That's proud. That's a pretty good time. Faster You're... than Tyrese is on the Raptor. Fair point. Literally. Shots fired. <laughs> uh, Jake, your first run, 2.02. Second run, 158. So you oh, got a little geez. faster. You're literally Holy almost cow. neck for neck with you on your wife. Not I think the two-minute mark is going to be... The two-minute mark is kind of going to be the threshold. Oh, crap. Yeah. I think, like you were saying, Pete, there's like a, there's like a speed limit Boom, for this course. baby. And we proved that with Top Quad 2. I told y'all I was confident. Too much power for what you could even do here. Such an entry-level <laughs> machine with underwhelming power. And you only got a few, like a, like five <clears> seconds <throat> slower than with a YFC 450R, which is arguably probably one of the best machines for this course. That's crazy. Wow, so Jacob throwing it down on the Trailblazer, getting a 158.33. Super fast time, breaking the two minute mark. And to make things more interesting, I included the time standings from season two. Now granted, we've become better riders, but it's crazy to see that these mid-sized quads can actually hang with full-size machines in these tight courses. Pete was spot on when he said that courses like this really do have a speed limit and you just can't utilize the power of the bigger machines. Now, as always, we're recreational riders. If you put some pros out here, I'm sure they could utilize the power of the 450s and stuff. But it really is crazy to see that Pete and Jacob were able to put down times really close to the YFC 450R. So here's our placing so far. The Blueberry Milkshake has extended its lead to eight points, and we have a three-way tie for second, third, and fourth, all with four points. Now, if you go to the riders, Pete is in first with eight points. I'm tied for second with Jake. We each have five points, and Jesse's in last place with two points. We'll get you a win under your belt, Jesse, I promise. That's gonna wrap up the competitions for this episode, but make sure to stick around. The next challenge is the drag race, and that one is super fun. Plus, we've still got the hill climb, and we've got an extra special finale, the creek run. I can't wait to show you guys that one. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and also my friend's YouTube channels, Pete Hager, Brewer Off-Road, and 700R Raptor Life. On the next episode of Top Quad. No. Tires kind of do this. That's what the meatball does when you launch and the front end gets light. The tires are just going like this. Yeah. The whole front yeah. end is like a yeah. noodle. You can forfeit <laughs> if the first one goes very poorly. If you, if I think the Trailblazer can reel some people in here. See how bad I lose this time. Oh, dude!
<laughs> I mean, it wasn't an absolute bloodbath. What was that, like 10 lengths? <laughs> Let's get ready to hill climb. Jacob Blazer, Jesse 300 EX. <laughs> Jacob Blazer is a great name. <laughs> Sounds like a poor name. Peter, Peter, he's our man. If he can't do it, no one can. <laughs> <laughs> Treat it like a bathroom and stall it. You gotta use some body language on this thing, man, wow. We are here at the Creek Run. The first thing you have to do before you even hop on the machine is turn it around manually. You're not allowed to use reverse. Once the riders have made their down and back, they have to stop in this box and head to the hype button. First person to press the button wins. Try to keep it above the water. We are not losing. He sheared all the sprocket bolts Stare off and ran the course on foot. I will never forget my Meatball Creek run till I die. Jesse ran me off the trail into deep water. 